Venus flytrap is an insectivorous plant that has a short underground stem. On the surface we see a lot of leaves. A trap is formed at the end of each leaf. The flowering period of the plant is from May to July. Young plants are not allowed to bloom so that they do not stop the development. The flowers are cut at a height of 1 or 2 cm from the substrate level. Remains of the peduncle are visible in the center of the rosette. We can also observe young leaves that are already developing. The first thing to do after buying a Venus flytrap is to make a mark on the pot. This mark will allow you to maintain the orientation of the plant in relation to the light source. This is very important because Venus flytrap reacts extremely negatively to the rotation of the composition. The second mandatory step is watering the plant. It is important to remember, Venus flytrap is watered only by flooding. It cannot be watered from the top of the watering can. We use distilled water because tap water as well as purified mineralized water are not suitable for irrigation. In the future, during the growing period, we water the plant in the following way. At night we put the plant in a pellet with water, and in the afternoon the plant is in a pellet with no water in it. This regime of irrigation proved to be optimal for the development of Venus flytrap in conditions of good illumination and high daily temperatures, above 35 degrees Celsius. It is also important to properly choose a position of the plant. When you choose a location, it is important to take into account two factors that are illumination and temperature in the plant area. Recommended illumination up to 10 o'clock and after 17 o'clock direct sunlight. At noon the lighting should be diffused up to 40% of the dispersion. Diffusion can be both artificial, for example using a grid, and natural, with the help of clouds. During the growing season, the recommended care temperature range is from 25 to 35 degrees Celsius. From personal experience, the temperature has ranged from 18 degrees Celsius at night to 45 degrees Celsius at midday, and the plant regularly developed new leaves. The relative humidity of the air had no particular effect on the plant. Our plant was in the open air and got under prolonged dryance more than once. From the negative was only the dust on the leaves. The quality of lighting can easily be determined by the color of the traps. The plant was bought in the first half of spring. Suppose that it was grown under artificial lighting, full or partial, while getting the minimum level of illumination from the optimal. This is indicated by the green interior of the trap. The lush foliage of the plant indicates that there was enough light. A few weeks after buying the plant, in our care conditions, the inside of the trap turned from green to red color. The redness indicates that the plant has received the optimum intensity of illumination. The next step in the care of the plant is its feeding. When a living insect hits the inner surface of the trap and touches sensitive cilia, the trap then quickly closes. The first experience in feeding was unsuccessful. The insect was not completely captured by the trap. In a day, this trap will open and the insect will fall out. The second feeding was successful. The trap had completely closed. A day later, the trap closed tightly, creating a sealed chamber inside which the insect began to be digested. During the growing season, the plant is fed at least three or four times. Our plant is in a greenhouse, a man flowering cacti, which attract many insects. Therefore, within a few days, all the traps were closed with prey inside. A week after the successful hunt, the plant began to develop rapidly. At the same time, more than 7 leaves began to develop. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel if you are not already and hit the like button below, cause this is the best motivation for us. See you in the next video. Good luck!